Hello and welcome to my video. Let me tell you Samsung. I've been doing Android for eight years almost professionally for companies independently here and there. I started in about 2014 and up until maybe I would say a year ago, I was fine. I was beginning to reach very proficient level at my Androiding. I was becoming very good, senior position, senior developer, very good. Up until I started getting this feeling suddenly that uh, I've had enough of Android. Maybe it's time to try something new. Maybe uh, seven years was enough because remember it's a year ago or maybe two years ago, I would say. So maybe Android is enough. Maybe I need to go back and maybe I need to try something else. I don't know. But this feeling started to creep up on me. So I was very uh, not worried, I would say. I was just very interested. Why? Why now? Why this feeling? Why am I feeling this way? So a couple of things happened uh, and I kept digging internally to find why am I getting tired of this? Turns out it's a lie. It's a lying feeling or a false positive. It's yourself telling you something to try and divert your attention from something else. So yourself tries to play these tricks on you to give you an easy way out when you're faced with difficulty. And this is a common place for myself. I don't know about you, but it's uh, not uh, weird for myself to do this to me in different situations where there's difficulty. And in this situation, you have to remember, uh, not only Kotlin was released, also Jetpack Compose followed, and new architectures began to creep up, like MVI, you got Jetpack Compose, you got coroutines. So let's rewind and think about the stuff that made me feel like I was a professional androider, like I was proficient at what I was doing. I used to know Rx Java pretty good. I used to do XML pretty good. My architecture of choice was MVVM. I was really getting into the groove of these things, you know. Kotlin was a good change, but it also enforced a lot of learning. So you had to go home, study. You had to know Kotlin. You, you had to know it. You can't just keep going doing Java. The industry is going towards Kotlin. Your Google overlord says Kotlin is now the thing. You have to do the thing, you know. So that was fine. Kotlin is a new language. It's a very nice language. Okay. And then Jetpack Compose. Okay. What do we do now? Jetpack Compose changes everything. So no more XML. No more of your, it even touches the view models. The view models you're used to doing in a certain way. Now you have to do Jetpack Compose with the view models. Now there's Jetpack Compose view model stuff that you have to learn. So that's out the window. What do you got remaining as an Android developer after seven years of doing Android? What, what remains? Well, the skills that you have <laughs> of knowing that everything's gonna change, fragments are, are, are replaced, right? Now there's ways to go around fragments. Basically, Android is nothing like it was five years ago, four years ago even. It is nothing like that. Everything has changed. And slowly, but each time it does change, it changes everything. It's not like slowly and, and, and touches little things here and there. No, it changes everything. Every time there's a change, there's a change to everything. So here I was thinking I was getting bored or something. I was just afraid that I'm now uh, seven years ahead, seven years into this career. And I have to relearn everything basically. Rx out the window. XML out the window. View models, yeah, kind of still works the same, but you have to learn the Jetpack Compose way now. Jetpack Compose, you have to do Jetpack Compose. Coroutines now, you have to go learn coroutines. <laughs> so you're thinking like, okay, seven years, why the hell is this code not writing itself already? You know, 
it should be writing itself at this time. Like I've been doing this seven years. Where is the genius coming out? Now you're back to basically a junior almost. All of what you can rely on is how fast can you adapt this skill that you have supposedly been working on as, as you're developing, you're also working on how fast can you learn new things? If you have not developed this skill yet, and you're in Android, yeah, you're going to have a hard time. <laughs> so myself was telling me like, oh yeah, you're getting bored. Maybe this is not for you. That's the fear of programming talk from back then. It's, it's, it comes back in different forms to try and discourage you from doing what you need to do. You need to fight that. Sure, you suck at it now. Give it a couple of months. Give it a couple of... Well, not a couple of years, but give it some one year, you know, be less, uh, be less hard and more understanding of your situation. Recognize why exactly I am having this feeling. That's the first step of resolving it or maybe not resolving it. Just facing it is the issue. Face it. Yes, Android always changes in a very drastic way all the time. This is the reality of the situation you're up against. It might throw you off, make you feel like you didn't do anything for the past 70 years. That's life. That's how it is. That's how it is in Android. Other platforms, I don't know. Is this bad about Android? No, it's not bad. Anything that pushes you to become better, to become stronger is not bad. It's good. So that's my take on what I've been feeling lately towards Android. Thank you for listening. I hope you like the quality of this video because I kind of upped the game here. Got a little stand for my phone. Now I'm recording from the phone. Got a little light up there. Hopefully, because I enjoyed making this video more than other videos with shitty quality uh, webcams and shit. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Goodbye.